What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Uncle Sam's Reject here, and welcome back to the channel, boys. And we are back with the CSU Rams Dynasty, boys. And we just finished our bowl game. We finished yet our second straight flawless season. And we are getting ready to head into the postseason, boys. Before we leave, let's go ahead and take a look at a few things. Respectfully, we end, we end this season as number two behind Alabama. The only two undefeated teams left this year. Florida State moves up from six to three. Records goes from two to four, losing in the natty. Season stats, man. 4,100 yards for Brandon Kelly. 39 touchdowns, 22 picks. I did try to throw for 40 tubs with him, man. Just didn't work out. Um, he threw. This is the most he's thrown in his career, though. And the second the most yards he's thrown for in his career. Come over here to rushing attack. Trill, 15 touchdowns, 592 yards. He got hurt in the last game. Four for Kelly, six for Woodward. Receiving-wise, we had a 1,000-yard receiver in Vincent Joseph, 62 for 10-34, uh, five touchdowns, six touchdowns for Diggins with 873 uh, yards, 20 yards of catch, four for, for Hort for Trill. Matty Bloss has seven touchdowns this year. True freshman A.J. Jones with seven touchdowns. Uh, Chad Coleman, true freshman with six touchdowns. Blocking-wise, a lot of pancakes out here, man. 20 for Chase White. Uh, a lot of sacks given up too. Uh, Payson Hagler gave up 13. Um, most sacks he's given up in his career at that. Defensively, PT Henderson led us in tackles with 75. Six for loss. Terry Wims leads us in tackles for loss with 15. Sack leader goes to our true freshman, Braylon Tartan. So our true freshmen are out here making plays. He's a D tackle leading the team in sacks. Pick leader is going to be Macklin Crook with nine. Eight to Latimer. Six for Mikey. Um, let's take a look. Pass deflections, a.k.a. drop picks, LaJuan Ross. Force fumbles three to Latimer. Fumble recoveries. We had about six, it looks like. Um, when it comes to safeties, I don't think we had any. And defensive touchdowns, two for Crook, two for Latimer, one for Henderson, Wilms, Lee, uh, St. Griffin, Rosalind, Wyatt, and G. Kicking wise, 14 for 16 for our opponent, James Shrew, as our kicker, 87%. Um, longest of the year. He was one for two at 50% or more. One of those might have been like a super sim, though. I don't know. Uh, he also was a great punter. 229, I mean, 2,269 yards, 1991 net, 41 yards of per punt. Net average was 36.2. He had 11 in the 20, and then he had two touchbacks. School records now. Brandon Kelly has every single quarterback record except for passing touchdowns in a game. All right. Shout Zim, successful career. Uh, Jacob Hill still has a, has the hold of things down for receiving touchdowns in a career. Mercado has receiving yards in a game. Tay Watson has yards in a season. Tay Watson has receptions in a season. Defensively, uh, Johnny Hall still leads us in picks in a career, picks in a season. Macklin Crook tied him, but, you know, tying doesn't get your name up there. And then rushing-wise, we just simply don't run the ball enough to break any of those. Do we have any NCAA records? We have the longest pass, okay. In the individual game, team game, no. Individual season, no. Individual career, no. But there are people in our dynasty who have made some noise. We're going to go ahead and advance to the offseason, boys. And finally, we get a conference invitation. So we will accept that invitation. And we'll really get to beat up on Colorado and make it count for something now, baby. Let's go. All right, boys, let's do it up. Players leaving. Devin Latimer and P.T. Henderson want to go to the draft. It does not say where they would be drafted, but I'm going to go full sale on both of these dudes. He's weighing his options. Come on, P.T., don't let me down, big dog. You're going to hang around a little while. Thank you, Latimer. Y'all, you guys are the catalyst for my defense, man. I appreciate you understanding this is an opportunity I can't pass up. Junior safety Devin Latimer is gone. I mean, coming off of a Thorpe Award and an All American season, uh, he is our first guy, I believe, or maybe our second, that actually says he's going to the draft or leaves us early. Remember, I, uh, I did confirm that Tay Watson was drafted, um, but Devin Latimer, we actually expect to like go pretty high in the draft. Brandon Kelly, I kind of expect to get drafted as well. Uh, let's see. Andrew Jackson, no. Phoenix A. Griffin, maybe. Macklin Crook could possibly see his name his name be called. Um, any Anybody else? No, nobody else is really like those guys. Charles Dickens was a senior, bro. I didn't even realize that. Wow. He got better every single year, too. He got better every single season. So you can't ask for much more than that, honestly, man. Uh, that's the definition of consistency. JG is gone after this year. Uh King uh, Kyrie Wyatt, excuse me, is gone after his his, his uh, career here. Sheer Gold, Roslyn, Levi, Mikey should be getting drafted. 
Uh, Latrell Lee should be getting drafted, but they're seniors. I think they didn't say if they were going or not. Terry Wims. When we get out of here, we're going to go to Madden. We're going to take a look at this draft class, and we'll find our guys to see, um, you know what I'm saying, if they're going to get drafted or not. So let's see if we got any transfer requests. We got a lot of people leaving. Number two team in the nation. Who wouldn't want to come be a part of this, bro? I mean, I guess people are afraid of competition and possibly not getting playing time, but we'll continue the offseason recruiting. My favorite part of the offseason, bro. I ain't going to hold you. All right, let's look at the new database. We need one more QB. Number one quarterback in the nation, Alex Williams. Guess what, sir? We're adding you to the list. We also need um, the ends. We need two of them things. So I'm going to go with people um, that who, whose list we're kind of high on just to kind of make sure we can get them to come to our squad. Let's see. No, see, take them off the list. We got to start looking at that too, bro. We're, we're, we're a top we're a top three team in the nation, bro. Top two team in the nation. We got to we gotta be able to recruit like it, but, be, you know, now that we're going to be on TV more often and stuff like that, that should make a big deal of difference. You never know. Maybe I, I, I got to throw the one stars on there for depth because it's better than having some walk ons, bro. Like that's for dang on sure. And quarterback and D end were the only were the only positions we actually like 100 percent need it. Any athletes we can go after that have interest in us. We got a four star here. Um, six one one eighty six. We'll see. We got a three star here. He's not coming to our squad, so I'm not going to waste my time. Most of our team has been three stars. You see how good some of our players end up being, bro. So, like, that's one of the things that, like, you know, we got to focus on, like, because, you know what I mean? Stars, like, just like in real life, you don't have to be a five-star to end up being a to end up being a, a decent player in college football, man. So, that's definitely, definitely a plus. Like, one of the things I, I, you know, I can't stress enough, I really love about these older NCAAs, the attention to detail that comes with college football, bro. Dallas Burrell, Dallas Burrow, however you want to say it. We got somebody else on our list already, too. We'll, we'll, we'll look after Eric Brown, too. We're pretty deep at running back, bro, but I want to be like USC. I want to be a a, 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 a a farm for for some of these certain positions to where we just turn them out year in and year out, year in and year out, year in and year out. You feel me? That's the type of top echelon program I want to be. That's my goal with this whole series. I want to become I want to become like an Alabama. Like if you guys go back to um, season number one. You will hear me say something to the effect of, I want us to become one of those schools where it's like, you know, oh, there they go again. They got a good recruiting class, a good re uh, recruiting class again. They got a, you know, they're, 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 in, they're, in, they're in the talks for, you know, a natty again. Like, that's that's what I want out of us, man, moving forward, bro. All right, boys, going to our actual recruiting board. Let's go ahead and um, reorder this by interest. Not a lot of people have interest in us, bro, but Alex Williams, we about to go super hard over you. What do you mean by that? I'm a quick call a lot of y'all, you know what I mean, just to get it done, and then we'll go in depth and recruiting after that. If, we, if we're talking to you, like like we we we, three, we think kind of highly of you, you know what I'm saying? All right, boys. Here we are in the next week of recruiting. We didn't get anybody to bite. We are now first on Alex Williams's list, bro. Over Texas, over Oklahoma, over USC. So that's a good look there. We move up to number two on Daniel Webb's list. Number nine on Jake Burrell's list. All right, so these are the guys we're gonna. We're gonna focus on first when we're recruiting. This quarterback for sure, let's go ahead and actually call him. Make a promise, number one quarterback in the nation, I can promise you that you will start. Solid playing time, we'll get good national exposure, and I can promise you top 10 your first two years here, bro. Let's see what he likes most. Is program stability one of those things that would be huge if it was? Come on, tell me something, least, okay. Athletic facilities is something he cares about. Conference prestige is something we have in our back pocket now at an at a, a, being in the Big 12. Very low. What does my man care about? We're going to figure this out. All right, so he actually hangs up on us, bro. We didn't figure out a whole lot. We didn't figure out a whole a ton. <clears throat> Daniel Webb is tied in here. We're second behind USC. I'm just going to quick call him for an hour. Trust in the computer to do that. I'm going to do the same thing here with Jake Burrell. Just notice that he's a Juco. We're going to give him 75 minutes. Now, we need to go hard at these D, these D ends. Like, these one stars should be pretty easy to get, bro. I was going to throw 30 minutes on them each. Like, I'm not going to go super duper crazy on them. Uh, we'll move linebackers down there if we need to. I'll throw an hour on Jason Jackson real quick. Eric Brown, we're not going to make his top three. So, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to remove you. You know what I mean? That's cool beans. Lacey, we still got a chance, kind of. So I'll throw 30 minutes on him. What about Carter? We definitely have a chance on him. So I'll throw an hour there. We got Dustin Colvin. We got so we got a chance. So 
Let the computer, yeah, okay, we found out it was most conference prestige. That's good. Jay Lyle's another person. I think we're gonna be pretty low at receiver this year, so we definitely need to be careful there. All right, boys, we are here at the next recruiting week, recruiting week three. The quarterback is ready for a visit. Let's reorder by interest, bro, because this is where we got to start narrowing down our points real quick. I'm a quick call Blair, and I'm a going. I'm going to offer him the Scully once and for all. We didn't do that yet. We're probably going to lose some to Michigan, man. We're probably a little too late there. Let's take a look at Lacey, but like now we got to focus on the guys whose list we're top on. Just go ahead and call Alex Williams. Uh, let's go ahead and schedule him to come in this week. We know we don't know enough about him yet, so maybe week four for now until we can possibly unlock some things, bro. Like, what's most for him? Pro potential? Because we definitely have pro potential. We definitely had some people get drafted. Coach Prestige. Our Coach Prestige should be higher than a B, I feel like, bro. But it, 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 it is what it is. Championship contender he cares about. Okay, good to know. Pro potential is something he cares about. We're going to work on that a little bit here. Once we find out what things are, we're going to lean on them. And then things we got like an A-plus in, he doesn't care about early playing time, which is crazy. We got A. We were able to sway his mind, though. That is big. That is huge. That's what she said. <laughs> so he won't have early playing time at Texas. All right. Hold on. Hold on. We know what he wants now. Let's go ahead and get him scheduled. Boom. Boom. And then we'll talk about most as well. We'll get those things scheduled. We won't over talk. Go ahead and hang up. First place on his list, Texas probably isn't even really in the running. They haven't offered him yet. Um, we got Daniel Webb. Let's go ahead and talk to him actually for the first time. Everything I've been doing with him has been, you know, through the computer. I don't want to make a bunch of promises if I don't have to, especially at this name in the game. Very high, and for some reason, he was mad that we talked about it. I unlocked it, thank God, but he kind of pissed me off with that one. Relax, Pimpin, relax, relax. What about proximity to home? What about athletic facilities? We got pretty good ones here at CSU. Can we sway it? We can't. Academic prestige, very low. Coach prestige, all right, we're going to get up out of here. Let's make a, let's make a promise, though. Right, I'm going to go ahead and hang up. For some reason, my controller wouldn't go down to make me let me make a promise. Justin Carter, the number one running back in the nation now. Uh, we're the only ones who offer him a nat, uh, a scally. We're behind Michigan with this athlete, Jason Jackson. Let's make him a promise. Maybe we didn't have enough promises to make to the tight end. I don't know. I can promise that you will get national exposure, top 10 first two years, and winning record against rivals. Those are things I can all promise. Trying to figure out athletic facilities. Like, do you care about that at all, bro? It's taking a long time to talk to you for you to tell us nothing. So, all right, we're going to get up out of here in that call, bro. Uh, we got a few more guys down here. Probably not going to make too much of a difference by us recruiting them, to be honest, bro. But we're going to we're going to throw some points on them regardless just to see exactly like do we have a shot or not. I'll throw 30 minutes on these last two guys. Well, actually, I threw a, I threw a whole hour on my man. So uh, we could have this receiver. We could make some noise if we were actually recruiting them. Week four recruiting boys. We got our guy. We got our man. Five-star quarterback from Idaho. We got the number one quarterback in the nation. We got the number four quarterback in the nation, bro. Let's go. We're going to put Blair Davis. We're going to remove him from our list. Uh, we're, we're not going to get this uh, DN. Looks like he's going to records. We're going to go ahead and remove him from our list. We're going to have freaking walk-ons there. Uh, let's go ahead and call Allen Harrison. Let's make a promise. I'll say winning record, national exposure, top 10. Those are things I can say. Can't promise you playing time as a one-star. This is a big visit week for Burrell. So let's go ahead and call him. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a gamble on athletic facilities. We can always switch it, but athletic facilities is something we need to really focus on, bro. Very high. I think fan base is going to be most. No, that's very low. What's going to be most? Something we don't do well. But I gambled on athletic facilities, and that's going to work. Let's also make, I'm going to say no red shirt. Since you're a Juco guy, you don't want a red shirt. Win a record, top 10. I, I make promises on things I know, pretty much know we're going to be doing. You know what I mean? I don't like to, I don't want to lose guys to promises that we cannot keep. Schedule his visit. Hi. The thing he does the most, we're only a C at. And he's got to find out other things he likes, you know, just as much, you know, but not very lows. Like we just found out very low, very low least, bro. Ugh. What about academic prestige? Average? Can we sway? We cannot. Um, let's go ahead and get this in. Academic prestige, um, conference prestige, and championship contender. Let's go fan base. We're gonna do that instead since it's an A plus. Daniel Webb, USC hating on us, man, trying to come through. 
Now I can make him some promises. Golly, I'm not going to redshirt you. And that tight end, we don't really have a tight end. I can tell you, you're going to have solid playing time your first year here, especially as a five star, bro. Uh, championship contender he cares about. Proximity to home, he cares about the least. Coach prestige, very low. So let's go ahead. Talk about pro potential. You just see we put a few guys in the draft and we had guys getting, you know, calls from scouts to enter the draft. You know what I mean? Let them know, you know, where they could possibly go. So, you know, as we build this program, man, we're seven years in. We get to year 10, 11, 12, even like 15 or something. You know, like guys won't even have to question things like that. And Justin Carter, let me go ahead and actually call him and stop quit calling him. Make a phone call. You will not be playing here. And I will be red shirting shirt you first year. So top 10, promise a game in players home state. Got four years to do it. Can't guarantee conference championship because we're in a new conference, but I can guarantee you will win against rivals. Above average, what about fan base? That's gonna be very high, I felt it. Can we sway this athletic facility? We can, let's get it. You love when you can sway things that you do well in your favor. Unable to sway program stability. Can we sway conference prestige? He doesn't care about that. We're going to go ahead and end the call now. Dustin Coleman going up against Oklahoma. Let's go ahead and call him. We got two and a half hours left. You probably going to get solid playing time. Our receiving core ain't really there. I won't red shirt you, shirt you in the top 10 first two years on campus. Man, these promises make a world of difference when it comes to recruiting, bro. And I like it because 14 dumbed down recruiting, it is stupid, man, because promises is something that you really got to do when you're recruiting people in real life, man. Sometimes coaches break those promises and people will transfer on you. But, you know, it's a part of recruiting. It's a part of the uh, of the college football culture, bro. So we need it. Dustin Coven, we're going to really go hard at you. Until you until you, until you give us the BBM straight face, we're going to keep talking to you. Oh, wait. He, he gave it to us immediately. Yeah, the next thing we talked about. So let's get up out of there. All right, boys, here in week five of recruiting, we signed two more guys. We get the athlete, Jason Jackson, and we get Burrell, the, 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 the tackle from Texas. That's a good look, baby. All right, we got three people ready to, to visit now. We got a soft commit from Daniel Webb. Justin Carter's ready to visit. Dustin Colvin's ready to visit. So we, we, we got him to, you know what I mean, get on board. And then we got Justin Mack in the DN. Uh, take a look here at Allen Harrison. I might want to go really, really hard at him. Looks like Lyles isn't going to sign with anybody. Lacey isn't going to sign. Well, he's going to sign with North Carolina, so I'm not going to waste my time with that. Harrison, I think I still need to hail Mary on. So Daniel Webb, we're going to go ahead and schedule his visit week five. Uh, very high, very high. And then we'll, we'll talk about what we do most because it's still a B. Nothing, nothing bad, you know what I mean? Let's go ahead and hard sell a few things here just to get just to get that rapport there. One thing I want to do, can we sway that? Yes. We sway conference prestige, and that gets us a big bump in our bar to fill up when it comes to this recruit, bro. So let's go. We're gonna talk. We're gonna talk to these recruits here on this last week as long as possible before they say, "Hey, coach, I gotta go. You're talking too much." So we're gonna let them know, "Hey, man, we need you here in Fort Collins. You know, what I mean, we need you to come play for the program." So until he gets unhappy, bro, we're gonna talk, 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 talk. All right, so we got uh, Daniel Webb out the way. Now we're going to go ahead and take care of Justin Carter. Do we need to figure out more? No, we don't. We actually got everything figured out when it comes to you. Let's go ahead and set up your visit. High, high, very high. We still don't know what he does, what he loves most. I'm assuming it's going to be coach prestige or program tradition, which crazy. Our program tradition should be pretty high now, being that we got natties and all that. We got a natty. We got a, a, a BCS uh, bowl win. Boom. So that's least. So it's definitely coach prestige and we do that well at a B, but we won't, we'll probably talk about it. I do but we got to talk about what he loves most though. So we're going to switch what we're, what we're talking about during his visit. Once we get there, make sure everything did save there. It did. Then we got Dustin Coleman, Colvin, excuse me, the five-star wide receiver. We're times two on him this week. I like that boy. So we should be able to fill up his, his bar pretty quickly, especially when he cares about conference prestige the most. And we have an a conference prestige now, finally, because we're not in the freaking mountain West dog. Like, oh my goodness. It was hard to recruit in the mountain West, but we still found ways to make it happen. And we move mountains lots of the time, bro. So here we go. All right, boys. So we're uh, moving a week to the sixth and final week, AKA signing day, you know, off season signing day. And that's when we'll figure out who's officially going to be on the roster. We still got 15 Scotties remaining, bro. Uh, and we get Carter, Webb, and Coven. All right, those are the three guys I want to make sure we got three five stars. We got all five stars this offseason. We didn't get any DNs, bro. Justin Matt goes to Purdue over us, okay? 
Uh, Alvin Harrison goes to uh, Western Kentucky. And then Jay Lyles goes to LSU, who was leading the last time we looked at him anyway. So it is what it is. Take a look at top classes. We are a top 25 class at number 20. Four five stars, five four stars, four three stars. Let's go ahead and take a look at the signees, boys. This is what we're welcoming into Fort Collins coming into next year, bro. Like this is this is nice. This is going to be a nice squad, replacing a good amount of talent that we're losing. Take it. Take a look at here at position changes. We did get one athlete, Jason Jackson, 89 speed. He probably low key a quarterback. Nope, he is not with that throw power. Can he be a DB? So running back or corner? What do we need most? What do we need most? We we don't really need running backs. Yeah, we don't need running backs at corner. We lost we lost a few. We lost a few. He's a 74. He'll end up training there. I'm not sure if I told him I wouldn't redshirt him or not. But let's know we could always move him to running back if we needed to. So quarterbacks, we bring in an 86 overall freshman, Alex Williams. 100% starting over Bryce Sheard this first year. Um, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm letting Sheard know now he's just here to guide him and to help this man get through his first season on, on campus. He is going to be his roommate, and he's going to help him, you know, get acclimated to the college football scene. 92 throw power, 86 throw accuracy. Yeah, for sure. Yates isn't looking too shabby himself. Uh, running back, we're still good money pretty deep there fullback we still got jamal beasley wide receiver deeper than i thought coven is going to be definitely be getting burned but aj jones and uh coleman chad coleman will be uh actually you know um what is it what is it? uh training this offseason so they'll be better there we got three three freshmen that tight end man and uh daniel webb is the guy there left tackle Payson Hagler is a senior 93 we got anthony richard center we got frick matter of fact what if Jones, the freshman, what if he moved, what if he moved to play guard for me? He'd be a 70, 73. Nah, we'll leave it how it is for now. Chase White, still good money at right guard, right tackle. We got Falarison. Oh wait, can Star, can uh, Star Jr. play tackle for me? He could, he could be my left guard, bro. Let's go. I'm gonna move, I'm gonna move Mark Star, Mark Star Jr. there to guard. Let's go because he's gonna train there as well. He stays at oh, so Owen Pickett stays at 65 at right tackle. So he'll replace him over there. We got three guys to each um offensive alignment position. I like it. Very, very shallow at the end positions. We knew that coming in, bro. Shallow at linebacker, too. My goodness, bro. Hewlin, I'm thinking about moving down to linebacker. What about Tally if we moved him down to linebacker? Nah, so uh, we're gonna have some walk-ons here on the squad this year i tried to get more guys man we just couldn't get them to commit so we're going to go ahead and continue to training all right boys training results we have a 99 on our team chase white goes up plus five Let's go one by one sheared is at 88 it goes up plus four throw power he goes up plus one throw actually goes up plus three still not going to be enough to get a job man i'm sorry uh true horton goes up plus one speed that's crazy plus four overall after winning the dope walker uh, plus six to our fullback. Vincent Joseph goes up plus three. He's a 90 in his final year. AJ Jones Jr. is a true sophomore. Goes up four. Nate Hall goes up five. Coleman goes up two. He's still going to be over Nate Hall. You know I mean, just based off of how he performed last year. <clears throat> but the rest of the receivers go up plus five. Uh, tight ends are all freshmen. Left tackle. Payson Hagler's a 97. Star goes up four to an 89. Frick goes up to a 90. We already went over Chase White, but let's not forget the fact that Gruner goes up to a 92. He's probably going to have to play somewhere this year, bro. Flores in the 93. O-line is looking sweet. Uh, Well, looking good. They're not looking sweet. The ends go up plus 7 to plus 5. Probably going to have to put some people there just to be there. D-tackles are looking pretty solid. I mean, since Braylon, like, Lettuce and Sacks is a D-tackle, might, he might play some D-in for us this year. But Izzy Thomas goes up plus four and goes over Braylon. But, you know, he was over Braylon last year, I believe. Linebacker, no. Middle linebacker, uh, Chris Holmes goes up plus five and plus two speed. Spud McKenzie goes up plus four and plus two speed. Uh, Pillow goes up plus five, plus five to Argentino. So we got two 92s on the outside. Uh, not the fastest, but decent. Um, pretty good. Pretty good corners on the outside. Free safety. PT Henderson goes up plus five to a 93. Hewlin, who's going to be playing some linebacker, goes up plus six. And then Cole Buckta goes up plus five and should be our starter at strong safety. Mario Gutierrez, uh, minimal, minimal improvement. And then Shroot goes up plus two, minimum improvement as well. All right, guys, coming into season number eight, we are preseason number 10. 
So getting a lot more love than we have gotten in the past. All right, guys, getting ready for preseason recruiting. Still need a quarterback. We need a D tackle, a middle linebacker, safeties, and a punter. Ooh, number one DN in the nation. You know we going hard there. Number two wide receiver. Number one tackle. Number one guard. Oh, yeah. Recognize our greatness, baby. Here it is, redshirt players. We're going to go ahead and redshirt Gates. Didn't make him any promises. We're going to redshirt. Did I promise Carter not to redshirt him? I did not. So, wide receiver, Coven. I told you you're going to get burned, and I, I mean that. You know what I mean? You're a 90. You're probably going to get probably going to be our, our number three guy, and Coleman will be our number four. Tight end, you already know what it is. I'm going to redshirt AJ Jackson, though, just to keep one in the tuck over the years. We're good on, on the O line. We're not going to redshirt anybody. We redshirted a lot of people last year. Burrell, I think I promised him to play this year. No, no, no. I think I promised like top ten and all that stuff. Yeah, we did, but we did promise not to redshirt him. Okay. Uh, there's our. We're not going to redshirt these. Um, not going to redshirt these walk ones at, at our end positions though. Uh, D tackle. Hmm, not going to redshirt anybody. We got two freshmen that left us on linebacker. We need to play. Middle linebacker, we're good. Right outside linebacker, no. Corners, let's go ahead and redshirt Jason Jackson, who was an athlete, but he's buried in the depth chart. I don't want to really waste your waste your time here. Uh, let's see, P.T. Henderson, Hewlin, no. Uh, Tally. I'm thinking about put, I'm thinking about letting my safeties play a lot of linebacker this year, bro. Like for real, for real, with that speed. So that may be the wave with that. All right, boys, we went ahead and refreshed our depth chart. You already know Alex Williams, who is going to soon be named one of you guys, is going to be our starter. Trill Horton is still the guy at running back, fullback, nothing changes. Safety, Colvin. I'm going to switch him out for Nate Hall. I don't remember why I don't like Nate Hall like that. I just don't. You know what I mean? I don't care about overalls. I care about production on the field. And Dustin Colvin is going to be that guy for us. Uh, tight end, we're good. Left tackle, good. Gruner could play over star, but... Stars the senior, Fricks the you know, so the O line is set. Dalton Apple, redshirt freshman, starting at left end. DeAndre Keaton, DeAndre starting at right end. Linebackers, I'm going with I'm going with safeties, bro. So I'm gonna put Hewlin on the outside there. We'll put Evans here on the outside, and I'm gonna put Hewlin in the middle because that's gonna be my that's gonna be that's gonna be my user with that 89 speed bro right outside linebacker we're going to rock out with mckenzie 86 speed i think that's decent enough jg argentino and guthrie with benson henson i've seen the bb henson as a as the corners pt henderson holding it down as the free safety you know what i mean cole buck to holding it down the other side with that 86 speed gutierrez won't be my kicker that's gonna be shrewd and we are good to go with the death chart this year navy army air force back-to-back -back weeks and then we got Rutgers, Texas, Missouri, Nebraska, you know, the conference schedule. We'll keep that. Now, another thing with this um, series, boys, I don't know if this is going to stay a video series or if this is going to become a stream series. That's really all dependent on my internet. But, you know, um, think I got another video series I'm thinking about doing, but I'll let you guys know. But you see here, starting off season eight, conference swap. Big 12 welcomes Colorado State into conference play. Same thing on the campus news ledger. Preseason poll, Florida State, Bama, West Virginia, Ohio State, Penn State, Michigan, Cal, Rutgers, Georgia, us, Oregon, Texas Tech, Miami, LSU, TAMU, North Carolina, Fresno State, Texas, Georgia Tech, Notre Dame, uh, USF, UC, USF, USC, Louisville, uh, Wisconsin, Boise. Those are the top 25 schools. Conference outlook, they, they, they predict us to finish first on the Big 12 South side. Kansas State on the north side, and uh, they could they they see us winning the whole entire conference. And also, boys, we are officially on the toughest places to play list. You know, it's 25 schools with number 19, 17 game win streak at home currently going on, boys. Like, let's go, man. We are really making noise out here, man. Like, we are really becoming one of those schools, dog. So our team, we actually go down a little bit, man. Our offense, I believe, was an A last year. We're just a B, B, B plus. But, you know what I mean? I feel like this team is a little bit stronger. But, I mean, the huge question mark is going to be our starting quarterback. I mean, he's a true freshman. But, you know, last year we had true freshman plug and play, and they made a big difference in, on our squad, and they were part of the reason why we ultimately won the Sugar Bowl, man. So, if you guys are excited for season number eight, be sure to stop and smash that like button. Hit me up in the comment section below. Subscribe if you're new. Subscribe if you're new. It's your boy Uncle Sam's Reject, rkgames.com.
I'm out of here. Peace. Niggas want me to lose, but I can't. I've been stacking this shit to the ceiling. Know some niggas with bodies, and it ain't no probably. We never speak on them killers. Everybody on my block, go get them some money. It's only a couple of drillers. I've been fucking them hoes, man. Them bitches ain't nobody.